So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 18th to 20th of March 2023. So yeah, let's begin with the class. But before we begin, yes, you guys must be hearing about a surprise from all of us. So that surprise, guys, is going to be revealed on 25th of March. So stay tuned for that surprise. And now let's talk about the very first question, which is about India, Bangladesh friendship pipeline and you have to identify the incorrect statement about this pipeline right so remember this india bangladesh friendship pipeline has been recently inaugurated by both the prime ministers of india and bangladesh and who is the prime minister of bangladesh of course we all know sheikh hasina right now this is india bangladesh friendship pipeline and the objective of this pipeline basically is to transport diesel is to transport diesel from india to bangladesh right this pipeline transports diesel will transport diesel from india to bangladesh and the uh, you know jo ye project tha iski shuruaat ho gayi thi september 2018 mein it was the foundation stone for its construction was laid down by both the prime minister in september 2018 and now approximately around 5 years uh, after 5 years the project has been completed right this is the first cross border energy pipeline between india in Bangladesh and it has been built at a total estimated cost of rupees 377 crores and out of which out of this 377 crore 285 crore were spent in Bangladesh and this amount was also given by the government of India which means this entire project is funded by the government of India. Now why 285 crore out of 377 crore is spent in Bangladesh because the total length of this pipeline is 130 kilometers and out of this 130 kilometers 124 kilometers are in Bangladesh and only 6 kilometers are in India right so the the objective is to transport diesel from India to Bangladesh so that's why the major the majority of the length of the pipeline is in Bangladesh only that is 124 kilometers out of 130 kilometers right this pipeline connects Siliguri in West Bengal to Dinashpur district of West Bengal Okay, connect Kisko Karta, Siliguri, Joki, of course, India, West Bengal, Mehe, and in Bangladesh, it is connecting Dinajpur district. Right? Capacity ki baat kare, so it can transport 1 million metric ton per annum. 1 million metric ton per annum diesel uh, uh, transportation is the capacity of this pipeline, and it will initially supply high speed diesel only. Okay, na? So that is all about this pipeline, guys. I hope this is clear. So Let's identify the incorrect statement now. This is the first cross-border energy pipeline between India and Bangladesh. This is absolutely correct. No problem with it. Its length is 150 kilometers. No, its length is 130 kilometers. And out of this, 124 is in Bangladesh, 6 is in India. So option B is the correct answer because that is the incorrect statement. All right. And now let's talk about the question number two. Which ministry has been awarded the WSIS Prizes Award 2023 for its audit online software application under category 7, Action Line C7 ICT Applications e-Governance. That is the name of category. You don't have to remember it. Or if you can remember it, just remember this part, ICT Applications e-Government, right? At WSIS Forum 2023, which was held in ITU, International Telecom Union Headquarters in Geneva, in Switzerland, right? So let's talk about this. So the name of this application or the software is Audit Online Software. Audit Online Software is the software which has got this award, WSIS, WSIS award, right? And of course, this Audit Online Software or application belongs to the Ministry of Panchayati Raj, right? It belongs to what, which ministry? Ministry of Panchayati Raj. And if you are a regular follower of PIB, you must be knowing this thing. Because we have discussed in detail about audit online software, right? Now, audit online has been awarded WSIS prizes award 2023. The category is this, which, have, which we have already discussed. Now, talking about audit online application. So, remember, it has been developed as part of Panchayati Raj Ministries, Panchayati Raj Ministries Enterprise Suite under E-Panchayat Mission Board Project, which was initiated by the Ministry of Panchayati Raj. In the year 2020, 2020, mein isko shuru gaya tha, right? it was launched for conducting online audit of all the Panchayati Raj institutions, thereby strengthening their financial management and transparency. 
राइट right? इसका जो मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव था दैट इज टू कंडक्ट ऑनलाइन ऑडिट ऑफ द पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट स्ट्रेंथनिंग द फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एंड अदर बेसिकली टू मेंटेन ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑफ द पंचायती राज सिस्टम राइट एंड द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट दिस इट इज दैट इट इज कॉन्फिगरेबल विच मीन्स एवरी स्टेट हैव देयर यू नो डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑडिट एक्ट एंड ऑडिट रूल्स सो इट इज कंपेटेबल विद ऑल इट इट इज कॉन्फिगरेबल सो दैट एवरी स्टेट कैन मेक इट कंपेटेबल अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओन रूल्स एंड एक्ट ऑफ ऑडिट राइट एंड नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट डब्ल्यू आई एस डब्ल्यू एस आई एस सो रिमेंबर दैट वर्ल्ड समिट ऑन द इंफॉर्मेशन सोसाइटी रिमेंबर इट इट इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज टू प्रमोट आई सी टीज इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑफकोर्स to for achieving united nations sustainable development goals it is organized by international telecom union right coordinated by international telecom union in collaboration with unesco united nation development program and unctad all right now this event remember is intended for ic development initiative that support sdgs and this year for the year 2023 the theme for wsis forum was wsis action lines for building back better and accelerating the achievement of sdgs you don't have to remember this thing at all aapko ye yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai ek bar pad liya that's more than enough because i don't think that this team is going to be asked in the examination right and now coming back to the question so which ministry is this it's ministry of panchayati raj which has got this award for its audit online software or application option a is the correct answer Question number three. Question number three says, in which state or UT Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, which is headed by Mr. Purushottam Rupala, is conducting the phase four of Sagar Parikrama? So last month we have discussed about the phase three of Sagar Parikrama, and now the phase four, the fourth phase of Sagar Parikrama has been launched, and it will be conducted in Karnataka, right? Where it will be conducted? It will be conducted in Karnataka. and in karnataka it will be conducted in 10 locations in three coastal districts of the state all right talking about sagar parikrama so remember it was launched in the year 2022 last year right and last year it was launched from gujarat okay last year it was launched with two major objectives number one is to facilitate interaction with the fishermen to the other stakeholder regarding uh, you know providing them information with respect to the welfare schemes which are meant for the fishermen or the other stakeholders in this area or fisher folks right and also to demonstrate solidarity with all fisher folk fish farmers and concerned stakeholder as a spirit of atmanirbhar bharat all right now it is being organized through a pre decided sea route covering the coastal states and uts and of course when we are talking about sagar parikrama the states included must be the coastal states or uts right Now previous phases की बात करें so remember the phase वन was held in Gujarat in the month of March 2022 with the theme टू विद द थीम क्रांति से शांति राइट द थीम वॉज क्रांति से शांति एंड इट वॉज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम मांडवी इन गुजरात ऑफकोर्स एंड इट वॉज एंडेड इन एट पोरबंदर विच इज अगेन इज इन गुजरात सेकेंड फेज वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्ड इन गुजरात इन द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड इट कवर्ड सेवन लोकेशन विच आर मांगरोल वेरावल डीयू जाफराबाद सूरत दमन एंड वलसाड राइट एंड फेज थ्री फेज थ्री की बात करें तो इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम सूरत गुजरात एंड कवरिंग एंड इट ऑल्सो कवर्ड द यूनियन टेरिटरी दमन एंड दू एंड दादरा नागर हवेली एंड नॉर्दर्न महाराष्ट्र सम पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्दर्न महाराष्ट्र वर ऑल्सो कवर्ड एंड द फेज थ्री एंड नाउ द फेज फोर हैज बिन लॉन्च विच विल बी कंडक्टेड इन कर्नाटका ऑल राइट सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस एंड so which state is this the state in question is karnataka option d is the correct answer question number 4 pe chalte hain isi baat pe identify incorrect statement about national animal disease control program but first of all why we are discussing about this program it is not a new program it was launched in the year 2019 so why we are discussing about it because recently a reply has been submitted in the parliament regarding this program so that's why we are discussing it this is nothing new right the you know this program was launched in the year 2019 to control foot and mouth diseases diseases and brucellosis through vaccination right in the cattle these diseases generally occurs in cattle 
ये जो डिजीज है ये जनरली किसमें होती है कैटल में होती है सो एफ एम डी एंड ब्रुसेलिस को ब्रुसेलोसिस इन दो बीमारियों को कंट्रोल करने के लिए एंड इवेंचुअली इराडिकेट करने के लिए बाय द ईयर टू दिस प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च इन दू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेरी राइट द मिनिस्ट्री डू रिमेंबर इट रिमेंबर इट इज नाउ अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक हेल्थ एंड डिजीज कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफकोर्स इट मस्ट बी द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनिमल हजबेंड्री डेयरी एंड फिशरीज सो करेंटली रिमेंबर अंडर इट वैक्सीनेशन फॉर कंट्रोलिंग एफ एम डी फुट एंड माउथ डिजीज इज बींग गिवन टू दैटल and it is centrally uh, it is a central sector scheme which means it is 100% funded by the central government and along with vaccination other costs which are being provided by the central government is like vaccination charges accessories awareness creation cold chain infrastructure etc taki zyada se zyada vaccination drive against fmd chalai ja sake to control the disease in the cartels all right so that is all about it and now let's come back to the question you need to identify incorrect statement so it aims to control fmd through vaccination leading to its eventual eradication by 2030 bilkul sahi baat hai it was launched in 2019 and now it is a part of livestock health and disease control program this is also correct it is being implemented by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare is that so no it is being implemented by ministry of ministry of what ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy which means this is the correct answer to this question option c question number 5 cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved the listing of ireda indian renewable energy development agency indian renewable energy development agency which works under the ministry of new and renewable energy right on the stock exchanges through an ipo identify incorrect statement about ireda so the news is this only that cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved the listing of ireda through initial public offering right now you need to identify incorrect statement about ireda but before that let me tell you in brief what is ireda remember ireda was launched was incorporated in the year 1987 with its headquarters in new delhi this is basically a non banking financial company registered with rbi and it financing it finances the renewable and new energy projects of the government of india right ye kya karta hai financing karta hai of renewable energy and energy efficiency projects in india right thereby thereby supporting government's target of renewable energy now can you tell me what is the uh, renewable energy target of the government of india by the year 2030 Write down in the comments. Very easy question, by the way. I'm asking to you. And remember, the parent ministry is Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, and it is a wholly owned government of India, Mini Ratna. Yes, you should remember this also. It is a Mini Ratna under Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, and also categorized as an NBFC registered with RBI. Right. So that is all about it. so let's identify incorrect statement now it was incorporated in 1987 with headquarters in new delhi sahi hai it functions under ministry of power you might get confused between ministry of new and renewable energy and ministry of power but remember always that ireda works under the ministry of new and renewable energy and not the ministry of power so this is incorrect which means the correct answer will be option b Let's move ahead to question number six. Ministry of Textiles recently has approved seven uh, setting up of seven mega integrated textile regions and apparel PM Mitra Parks. I hope you guys have heard about these parks. These parks, the scheme PM Mitra Park scheme was announced in the last year's budget, right? And seven parks will be established across the country. It will provide financial support in form of development capital support up to how much amount per park? to park special purpose vehicle owned by center and state government so let's talk about the news and then we'll come back to the question so ministry of textile has given the approval for setting up of seven pm mitra parks across different states in different states in seven different states of the country right and it will of course create world class industrial infrastructure and will also attract large scale investment including fdi and encourage 
innovation, job creation, employment in the textile sector and which are the seven states. Very, very important fact. You must remember this. UP, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Gujarat and Karnataka. These are the seven states where these seven PM Mitra parks will be established. Right? <clears throat> now talking more about it. Remember, of course, the Ministry of Textile will oversee the, over, will oversee the overall Im, uh, implementation of this particular scheme. But remember, below the Ministry of Textile, there will be a special purpose vehicle for every park that will be owned by center and state government. Center and state government, dono ki ownership hogi usme. For each park, it will be set up, which will oversee, <coughs> which will oversee the implementation of this project. <coughs> Convergence with other central government scheme will also take place so that other central government schemes can also support the establishment of these PM Mitra parks, right? State government will provide contiguous and encumbrance free land parcel of at least 1000 acres, right? Hazar acre ka kam se kam jo state government hai wo land degi for setting up of these parks and along with these land parcel state government will provide additional facilities like water facilities, electrical facility, waste management facilities, etc. Alright, talking about funding or financial support. So remember, Ministry of Textile will give financial support in the form of developmental capital support up to rupees 500 crores, up to rupees 500 crore per park to the park SPV. And also competitive incentive support will also be provided up to a maximum amount of rupees 300 crore per park to units in PM Matra Park. Now, when you have a park, then you will have a lot of units. Hongi ki nahi hongi. Hongi? Of course, hongi. so to those units, competitive incentive will be provided up to a maximum of rupees 300 crores. All right. And these parks will offer an excellent infrastructure, plug and play facilities, as well as training and research facilities in the textile industry, thereby giving a huge boost to the textile sector which is required for the sector in the nation right so that is all and now let's come back to the question so in the form of developmental capital support the maximum amount that will be provided is up to rupees 500 crore once again the correct answer is option b let's talk about question number seven then ministry of steel which is headed by jyoti raditya sindhya has signed 57 mous with 27 companies right for speciality steel under PLI scheme, for speciality steel, so you have to identify once again the incorrect statements about PLI scheme for speciality skill. So let's talk about this scheme in brief. Remember, objective of all the PLI schemes is to give boost to that particular sector for which that PLI scheme has been launched. So PLI scheme for speciality steel will give a boost to the uh, production and export of speciality steel from the country. It was launched in 2021. Ministry of course is Ministry of Steel. Duration of incentive will be this. Financial year 23-24 to 29-30. And budgetary outlay is 6-3-2 crores. Budgetary outlay is 6-3-2 crores. Right? And it is applicable to 5 categories of specialty steel. These are coated or plated steel products. High strength or wear resistant steel. Speciality rails, alloy steel products and steel wires and electrical steel. If you can remember these five categories, that is fine. If you cannot, that is also fine. There is no problem in that. Okay. So let's identify the incorrect statement now. <clears throat> it was launched in 2021 to boost domestic production of speciality steel by attracting significant investments. It is being implemented for duration from financial year 23-24 to 29-30. Yeh bhi theek hai. It has total budgetary outlay of 6322 crores. This is also correct. And it is applicable to only ye bhi sahi hai. So, char hoi sahi hai, incorrect koi sa bhi nahi hai. To option mein garbadi hai. Let's say it is done is incorrect. I'll make the changes in PDF. Let's consider option E as none is incorrect. So, option E will be the correct answer. Question number 8. Where has the meeting of heads of SCO tourism administration held? under India's presidency of SCO, which I am again and again repeating that it will be under India's presidency till September 2023. September 2023, India's presidency will be uh, SCO. Ki, right? 
so let's talk about this meeting and then we'll come back to the question so meeting of heads of seo meeting of heads of seo tourism administration took place in varanasi varanasi is also known as kashi and i hope you all know this that kashi was recently declared as the first tourism and cultural capital of seo shanghai cooperation organization now during this meeting during this meeting what happened a joint action plan was launched for implementing agreement between governments of seo member state on development of cooperation in tourism because this meeting is uh, between the heads is among the heads of tourism administration so of course the joint action plan which was adopted which was uh, you know accepted by all the heads will focus on the development of cooperation in tourism okay these are some of the uh, focus areas of the joint action plan which you do not have to remember this is just for the basic understanding that what actually these member states will do under the joint action plan right like for example promotion of seo tourism brand promotion of the cultural heritage of the seo member states sharing and exchange of information and digital technology so that other member states can, can also develop a uh, tourism sector in their respective countries promotion of mutual cooperation in medical and health tourism and finally improving the quality of service right talking more about it so remember there is an action plan for year of tourism development in the seo space in 2023 and this meeting has identified the list of activities and events that will be done to promote and showcase the tourism products of seo member states and do remember that next year that meeting of seo heads of tourism administration will take place in kazakhstan right kazakhstan mein agle saal hoga 2024 mein all right so that is all and now let's come back to the question so where did it take place varanasi option b is the correct answer again question number 9 Question number nine says, which of the following ministry or ministries is are organizing the third annual edition of international SME con convention? SME is nothing but small and medium enterprises. 2023 in New Delhi, right? So let's talk about it and then we'll come back to the question. So that's international SME convention, the third edition. It took place in New Delhi with an objective to provide actionable insights and recommendations for building. sustainable ecosystem for msmes right for building sustainable ecosystem for S msmes this international sme convention was organized to discuss this right it was organized by ministry of msme and ministry of external affairs jointly <clears throat> the key partner state was madhya pradesh and associate uh, partner state was uttar pradesh right international partner ki baat kare so it was international network for mses and world union of small and medium enterprises right then there was an insurance partner as well tata aia ye partners yaad rakhna important hai puche ja sakte hain now the main focus the four major focus areas of this convention were clean tech and green energy manufacturing services sector agro food processing and agri implement sector all right so that is all about it and which ministries are these these are ministry of external affairs and msme which means option e will be the correct answer b and c let's talk about question number 10 then which of the following is hosting organization of labor 20 engagement group inception meeting held in amritsar punjab as part of india's g20 presidency kaun se organization ne isko host kiya tha so it was organized by it was hosted by bhartiya mazdoor sangh right भारतीय मजदूर संघ होस्टेड द एल ट्वेंटी लेबर ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट ग्रुप इंसेप्शन मीटिंग एंड इट टूक प्लेस इन अमृतसर अमृतसर ऑफकोर्स वी ऑल नो इज इन पंजाब एंड द फोकस ऑफ दिस मीटिंग द फोकस ऑफ दिस मीटिंग वॉज टू डेलीबरेट ऑन की इशूज कंसर्निंग द ग्लोबल वर्क फोर्स टू प्रोवाइड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द जी ट्वेंटी नेशन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन टू फोकस ऑन डेवलपमेंट एंड रीचिंग द लास्ट पर्सन राइट ये सब बड़े बड़े शब्द याद हो जाते हैं तो अच्छी बात है याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है ऑफकोर्स मैं जो आपको बोल रहा हूँ बस सुनते जाओ देखो क्या है लेबर ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट ग्रुप है विच मीन्स फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ लेबर दिस मीटिंग टू प्लेस फॉर डिस्कसिंग द स्टेप्स दैट दैट कैन बी टेकन 
to improve the condition of labor for to improve the welfare of labor in G20 member nation. That is the objective of this L20 engagement group. All right. So it was organized by Bharti Mazdoor Sang and option D is the correct answer. Question number 11. With which ministry an MOU has been signed by Ministry of Ayush to collaborate in developing skilled personnel by imparting training to rural poor, poor youth and women for Ayush healthcare system under DDU GKY, right? Deen Dhyal uh, Antyodaya Yojana, Grameen Deen Dhyal Upadhyaya, Grameen Kaushalya Yojana, right? DDU GKY. So, an MOU has been signed between Ministry of Ayush and the Ministry of Rural Development, right? And this MOU has been signed. Under this MOU, both the ministries will collaborate with each other to develop skilled personnel by imparting training to rural, poor youth and women of for Ayush Healthcare. Ayush Healthcare ke area mein unko training di jayegi, thereby providing them with employment opportunities as per the provisions of DDU GKY. Right? <clears throat> Duration is ka teen saal ka. And training program will be undertaken and will be funded as DDU GKY cost norm. And if you want to know more about DDU GKY, you can search for Anu Jindal government schemes. There you can get a playlist. And in that playlist, I have explained the scheme very well. Or, thoda saor in jayar karoge, to once the RBA notification is out, we will be discussing all the schemes through questions. In that uh, session also, I will be explaining what is DDU GKY, right? Ministry of Ayush, remember, will provide its institutes for the purpose of conducting courses, training, and other type of things. The collaboration will train 22,000 rural poor youth under NSQF compliant courses, National Skills Qualification Framework. NSQF is what? National Skills Qualific Qualification Framework. And these are some of the training, some types of training which will be provided. No need to remember. Panchkarma technician, all related to Ayush Panchkarma assistant, Ayurvedic measure, Shara Karma technician, very technical, not required for the examination. So, which ministry is this? That's Ministry of Rural Development, headed by Giriraj Singh. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 12. Which mission or scheme has been launched by the Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change on the occasion of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav? to enable a society ownership approach for participatory conservation and wise use of wetlands, right? This mission, this scheme, remember guys, is known as Mission Sahibagita. Mission Sahibagita was launched last year, 2022, by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change for healthy and effective management of network of 75 wetlands of national and international significance. And these 75 wetlands are those only which have the Ramsar, which have been identified as the Ramsar sites, right? It seeks to enable a society ownership approach for participatory conservation and wise use of the wetlands. And it will also serve as a platform for sharing wetland management, sharing good wetland management practices so that we can effectively manage, effectively manage a vast network of 75 wetlands, okay? So which mission is this? This mission is Mission Sahibagita. Option E is the correct answer. And now guys, let's talk about the questions in short, which do not require much explanation. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of the session, you can join this Telegram channel. The link is in description. All right. Question number 13. India Post, the largest delivery network of the world, has recently signed an MOU with which leading logistic aggregator company to boost last mile e-commerce delivery services across the country. Kaun se uh, delivery network ke saad India Post ne e-commerce service pohunchane ke liye MOU sign kiya hai. This is ship rocket. Option A is the correct answer. 14. In inland water transport is the most economical mode of transportation. Especially for bulk cargo like iron, uh, coal, cement. Presently, it remains underutilized at a share of only 2% of India's modal mix. Government intends to increase the share of IWT to how much percent in India's modal mix as per Maritime India vision of 2030. So as per this vision 2030, 
the share of iwt will be 5% will be 5% in india's modal mix so option b is the correct answer 15 river gandak which is also known as narayani river has been declared as dash from uh, bhai salotan barrage to gandak and ganga river confluence at hajipur in bihar no, do not read the next uh, lines just remember the river gandak narayani river from bhai salotan barrage to gandak and ganga river confluence will now be considered as national waterway 37 option d is the correct answer which ministry or ministries is now working with center for development of advanced computing and services export promotion council for developing a one step heal in india portal for promotion of mvt which is medical value travel now can you identify these ministries yes that's very easy it is ministry of health and family welfare and ministry of ayush so option d is the correct answer a and b Question number 17, very important question, which of the following states or UTs are not implementing this scheme and this scheme means what? Aishman Bharat, we all know about Aishman Bharat scheme, there are two components, health and wellness center and PM Jan Arogya Yojana, under health and wellness center, 150,000 health and wellness center have been established by the government of India, uh, by the end of December 2022, established ho chuke hai. the first one was established in Bijapur and Chhattisgarh, Right under PMJAY, five lakh insurance per family is provided with 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 you know with no restriction on family size, with no restriction on family size, age, or gender. Right along with this, uh, what type of covers are being provided? So basically, three days pre hospital pre hospitalization cover, fifteen days post hospitalization cover is provided. Right. Also remember, uh, all pre-existing diseases are also covered. All pre-existing diseases are also covered. Not only this, this scheme is being implemented in three models. Trust model, insurance model and hybrid model. Alright, and it is a centrally sponsored scheme being implemented by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And it was launched in 2018 from Rachi Jharkhand by the Honorable Prime Minister of India. And currently it is being implemented in 33 states and UTs and the states or UTs which are not implementing it are Odisha, Delhi and West Bengal. Odisha, Delhi and West Bengal, 1, 3 and 5 is the correct answer, option D. India's dairy and animal husbandry sector contributes how much percent to the country's GDP and the contribution of dairy sector to agriculture is how much percent. So, India's dairy and animal husbandry sector contributes 4.5% as per the recent reply by the ministry. I am talking, uh, I am uh, taking, I have taken this data from a reply given by the ministry. So, I will tell you that 4.5% and contribution of dairy sector to agriculture sector is 24%. So, option C is the correct answer, guys. Bas thodi there all, do, do teen question aur baaki honge. Where has Ministry of Commerce and Industry organized PM Gati Shakti regional workshop for North Zone to promote integrated planning and implementation of infrastructure projects using PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan Platform. It was organized in Srinagar. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 20, where has Bharat Startup Summit and Expo 2023 being organized by PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So, Bharat Startup Summit 2023 was organized in New Delhi. Option A is the correct answer. And guys, the last question for today, but not the least, very, very important question with which PSB, Public Sector Bank, has Warehousing Development Regulatory Authority, WDRA, recently signed MOU for promoting awareness about Finance against E and WRs, which is nothing but electronic negotiable warehouse receipts with features such as no additional collateral and attractive interest rate. But before telling you the answer, I have discussed E and WR so many times. But uh, to those who are new here, what are E and WRs? Let's say this is a farmer and he has some produce, right? Why is the produce at? In the market, the prices of Y is not as per the expectation of this farmer x right now what this farmer 
विल डू विद दिस प्रोड्यूस क्योंकि अगर वो अपने घर पे रखेगा तो सड़ जाएगा राइट सो ही विल बी गोइंग ही विल गो टू अब्ल्यू डी आर ए डब्ल्यू डी आर ए मैंडेट जो डब्ल्यू डी आर ए रजिस्टर्ड कोई भी वेयर हाउस होगा उसके पास जाएगा ही विल गो टू अ वेयर हाउस रजिस्टर्ड अंडर डब्ल्यू डी आर ए राइट नाउ दिस वेयर हाउस वॉट दिस वेयर हाउस विल डू दिस वेयर हाउस विल टेक दिस प्रोड्यूस एंड इन रिटर्न ऑफ दिस प्रोड्यूस दिस वेयर हाउस विल गिव दिस फार्मर ई एंड डब्ल्यू आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड डब्ल्यू आर राइट बेसिकली द अमाउंट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस प्रोड्यूस राइट एंड विद दिस ई एंड डब्ल्यू आर द फार्मर कैन टेक द लोन राइट and he can also sell it to other person right so this is the whole meaning of e and w r i hope this is correct and this mou has been signed with pnb option c is the correct answer pnb is headquartered in delhi and it is the md and ceo is mr atul kumar goel all right guys so that is all for today's class i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next class on friday goodbye take care and god bless